Okay, so I've got the broken uh, case with the broken slider. Um, the customer had, in this case, the customer had uh, damaged the zipper on the back side here. So, and the slider's been removed. Now, if the slider hadn't been taken off, um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But what we're going to do is just cut the zipper on the other side here. So we now have an easy way of getting this, the slider back on because the zipper is already damaged. When I first got the Zlidon uh, zipper slider replacements, I had initially anticipated that these were going to be a good way of uh, just replacing the slider straight out. Doesn't work. Um, they often pop loose, but they're awesome when it comes to putting your zipper back together again so you can do a repair later. So this is the number 8 uh, Zlidon 8C. So we just open it up and uh, so in this case the zipper is not entirely open. I'll just open it up so you can see what's going on here. Um, normally what I would do, or the zipper is normally completely open, um, stick this light on as far back as you can and snap it shut. Push your finger on it to keep it closed the whole way. Um, apparently we have a damaged piece inside the case as well. Let's tuck that back in. So we're going to pull that around and around. Okay, here it popped open. This is why the slide-ons aren't good for replacement sliders. Okay, put your finger up. Just make sure it's clipped down well as you push it along. And then we're going to bring the slide on right off the end and set it aside because uh, we're done with it. Now, uh, to put this, the new slider back on, it's going to tuck this into this uh, damaged area and get the zipper so that it's butting up on both sides of the, the uh, slider. I'm just going to grab an awl, go from the top side and I'm just going to open up the, the teeth as I push down on that and I've got it open. So um, what I'm going to do after this video is done is I'm going to run a couple of hand st stitches, just loop a few stitches around there and tie that off so that the the slider can't go beyond there. Uh, there are some uh, clips that are available on the market. Um, ordering those in, you have to order in a whole bunch of them and this will work. The, the, the little uh, top stops look nicer but uh, it's just something else you need to order in. Okay, so that's that one done. Uh, because the zipper's da the, because the zipper's damaged, uh, the customer cut the case in order to open the uh, cut the zipper in order to open the case. So I'm just going to later slice this off. There's going to be a little bit of excess here that I'll melt with a lighter to make sure that it doesn't come. Uh, that does start fraying and causing issues. With uh, this pocket uh, zipper, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Use the slide on. And this one is a uh, number 5C. C with the slide on designates the fact that it's for a nylon zipper, uh, a nylon coil zipper, which is what most zippers are in uh, cases. 
I've only rarely seen in very old cases um, metal zippers and I've never seen uh, zippers with plastic teeth. Um, in this case this is the zipper still attached in here. What I'm going to do uh, afterwards is I'm just going to open up this zipper a little bit more and then again take a, a number five slider this time stick it on going backwards and then uh, stitch this the zipper shut here so that it uh, will work again. Uh, now if this was no a normal case that I had gotten in that wasn't damaged I would take off all the screws and take the fabric off the case entirely uh, then I would open up the stitches on just one side of the case pull a slide on all the way around put the first one on going backwards then put the second one on going the regular way putting it in through the front of uh, the zipper so I'd put uh, the zipper in going this way uh, so it would close up on the back side then just stitch that shut put the fabric back on the case uh, put the screws back in. Okay, so right now the only zipper that I have uh, currently that I've got sitting on here that I really want to cut off is this uh, kind of old beaten up one. So, but I want to show you how to cut off a zipper slider so you don't damage the zipper as much as possible. So you want to open up the zipper and expose the front bar that's uh, at the front of the zipper. Right? So there's a little bar with the inside of where both teeth go. This, uh, this tool is really not what I should be using. You should be using a pair of uh, uh, side cutters with a really sharp pointy end. So you want to cut the front part of that uh, bar. Then turn the zipper over. and uh, use your side cutters on both sides of the back of the zipper and cut okay and then cut it off in this case apparently I didn't even need to uh, to cut the front bar because the zipper was so badly damaged in most cases though uh, you do have to cut the front a little bit in order to to weaken the front bar so that uh, it's easier to cut it off Stitching the, uh, the zipper closed, um, I wasn't actually referring to stitching the zipper shut in this manner because if the, the zipper can't open in this area then the case can't open up um, and you've just wasted your time. Uh, so this thread is a heavy nylon um, upholstery thread. If you don't use a really heavy upholstery thread, then you're just wasting your time and you're going to end up redoing the job in a week when uh, a slider just comes off the end because the, the thread's just not strong enough. So go in between the teeth. This is a zipper. What you're doing is creating a stop for the zipper. So make sure that you put uh, enough thread on the end there to actually... Uh, make it possible for the zipper to be stopped um, otherwise you know there's no point and then tie it off on the back side and then uh, once you've completed then uh, your zipper is not going to fall off and uh, you've even though the customer has damaged their case um, you've rendered the case at least usable again uh, if the customer hadn't sliced their zipper earlier what we would have done is um, and had just cut it but not sliced the zipper uh, unfortunately they they sliced the zipper which is the first time that um, I've actually had a zipper come in here where they've they sliced it down the length of the zipper um, normally the zipper is just damaged in one spot uh, if the zipper was as normally uh, just damaged in the one location, then uh, I would have put 
a slider going on in both directions and created stops like this on uh, both sides of the zipper. So I'm just going to burn the thread just to make sure that it doesn't come loose again. And the zipper can't go beyond the, uh, the little stop.